This is the Magic Bullet Blender. It's a great all-around option that is currently one of Amazon's number one best-selling countertop blenders right now. However, it was originally released in 2012, and there are a lot of newer competitors with a lot more modern features since it's been released. So you might be wondering if it's still a worthwhile option to consider by today's standards. I'm Alex, and I review kitchen products to make your life easier. This review is not sponsored or paid, and these are all my honest opinions. Now, let's get into it. It has a compact, lightweight frame that measures about 13 inches tall, 7 inches wide, and it only weighs around 2 pounds, so it's an excellent choice for smaller kitchens or personal use. It's an incredibly easy to use blender, but I'll talk about the controls in more detail soon. Unfortunately, it's not available in different colors, but it does have a sleek, minimalistic gray design that won't draw too much attention while it's in use. In the box, you get a user manual that explains how to use the blender along with the essential components such as the 250 watt motorized base, the cross blades. It also comes with a range of useful high impact attachments, including a tall cup for larger drinks, a general use party mug that can hold 10 ounces of liquid, and a small mug that can hold 8 ounces. You also get two reusable lids that help keep your drinks fresh, a to-go lid, two removable lip rings for added comfort while drinking, and a recipe guide to make quick and easy foods like smoothies, salsa, and more, which is extremely solid value considering the sub $50 price. Unfortunately, the blade is not dishwasher safe, but it is easy to clean my hand with soap and water, and the other components can all be washed on the top rack of a dishwasher for easier cleaning after each use. The power cord is also a little bit short, and it doesn't offer the greatest placement flexibility, though the lightweight frame makes it very easy to move around and store as needed. I thought the controls were interesting compared to more modern traditional style blenders like the Ninja Professional 1000 Watt Blender. While the Ninja model has a sleek interface with buttons to change speeds or enable a pulse function, the Magic Bullet has an entirely buttonless design that requires you to push the cup down to start the blending process. It also doesn't come with any advanced controls, such as pre-programmed settings for certain textures, in-depth food processing capabilities, or smart connectivity options. Despite its no-frills feature set compared to modern options, it still offers a bit of blending versatility, and it does allow you to push and lock the cup for continuous blending or manually start and stop to deliver a pulse-like effect for greater control and precision. I like that you don't need to press down very hard to get it to pulse, and it is reasonably comfortable to use over long periods. Overall, it doesn't have a range of useful preset programs, but it is still very easy to use. That being said, the controls don't matter if it can't perform consistently. And the overall blending performance is actually pretty impressive considering its diminutive size and the affordable price. While it doesn't have the raw power or the consistently smooth textures of the higher end models, the Magic Bullet does a solid job with most kinds of fruit and non-frozen ingredients, which makes it ideal for preparing smoothies or protein shakes, although it is somewhat prone to leaving behind grittiness and chunks. Unfortunately, it's not powerful enough to crush ice effectively, and it can't blend hot foods and it does tend to struggle with thicker, denser materials, but it can still offer a very decent functionality for personal usage, and it can blend, mix, grind, whip, or chop harder materials like nuts with decent results each time. It's also effective at preparing salsas, sauces, puddings, and spreads such as hummus to help you create a wider range of satisfying meals or snacks. Overall, the Magic Bullet Blender is a solid all-around option that's perfect for making quick, easy drinks like protein shakes or smoothies. With its lightweight, compact frame, intuitive controls, and impressive blending performance, and the affordable price, it's not difficult to see why it's been such a popular option and highly rated countertop blender. It's not going to be the best choice for everyone as it lacks the power and additional controls of higher end models, but it's still an easy to use blender that provides plenty of bang for your buck and it can deliver decent textures each time. I think this is a great option for anyone shopping around on a budget, though I would recommend the Ninja Personal Blender if you're looking for a more compact personal blender that offers more power and features for slightly more money. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all the items mentioned, be sure to check out the description. If you guys learned something or you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short, informative tech videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.